Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreateCrafts. Today I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make these cute, customizable tile coasters using your Cricut machine. All you're going to need is some permanent vinyl, a Cricut, transfer tape, tiles, and cork backing. I'll leave everything you need in the description below. These were so much fun to make, so let's get started. I'm starting in Design Space and I'm using a file that I've already created. So I'm going to go to My Projects and I'm going to find the one that I want to use. I saw something similar on Pinterest, but I thought I could put my own spin on it. So I like this one here. So I'm just going to click on it, customize it because I want to change the size of it. So here it is. Love, Hope, Faith, and Dream. I thought these were really cute when I saw them on Pinterest, but I just wanted to change it up a little bit with the font and the size and all that. So the possibilities are endless. You can create your own whenever you want, but I thought this would be really neat to have for coasters that are for in my living room. So since I have my file already created, I just need to change the file size and make sure they are attached. So I'm going to start with the first one, Love. So I already have it attached, but the next thing I want to do is just change the size. Um, to do this, you just simply select the image you want. So I selected this one. And then you just go to the unlock box up here and then you change it to your size. I know my tiles are four by four, but I want them to be a little bit smaller for the file. So I'm going to change it to 3.75 by 3.75. And I'm changing the whole size of the tile. So as you see, you can see the change of it. So I'm going to do that with this one as well and just do the same thing. Unlock it and change it up here to 3.75 by 3.75 and if you don't like how it looks I always like to go uh, back afterwards and see if they kind of look the same even though the dimensions might be the same they look a little bit bigger like this one it kind of looks like the the letters are bigger so I'm just gonna wait a minute and finish this so I'm just gonna go to my next one and do the same thing just change the size again and you can change it to whatever size you want you can keep it at the 4x4 four four and go as close as you can to the tile, but I just like to make it a little bit smaller. And then just the last one. And if you wanted to change the color at all, that's very easy to do. I'm just going to keep mine black, but let's say I wanted to change the color. I have these attached already, so I'm just going to go down to the Detach button down here. And then these are separate. The bigger one, words are smaller than the littler ones because I did change the font on these. You can see the font name up here. So when you want to go back and see what the font was, if you wanted to add more, it will tell you it up here. So then I changed this font to be uh, different as well. So um, if you want to change the color, all you got to do is select the one that you want to do. Go to the color box up here and then you can change it to whatever color you want. And then you can do the same for this one. Just go to the color box and change it. But I like it just to be just black um, for this particular one. So I'm just going to leave it the way it was. I'm just going to go up to the black. And then I'm going to change this one as well. And then I want to select both of them again and then make sure you attach them. Because if you don't do this, it will cut it out separately and it doesn't matter if your size is the same. You'll just have to figure out uh, how to put it directly in the middle of your uh, tile. So that's it for this part. Like I said, sometimes you want to see maybe if you want to make these a little bit bigger than the 3.75 or kind of mess around with it, you can go to the unlock box and change it right here. I actually kind of like that a little bit wider. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is and then I'm just going to go to make it. This is so simple. You can put your own spin on it. You can do anything you want. I just thought this would be really cute for in my living room. So what I'm doing now is just moving them over a little bit. I like to get my scissors in here just a little bit so I can cut these out and then um, put the transfer tape on so it just makes it a little bit easier. Give a little bit of room in between. I'm going to move this one up because I don't like to waste a lot of vinyl. And then just move this guy over a little bit more, just enough that I can get my scissors in between each part without cutting any pieces off. So the next thing is just go to the continue. And I have the maker. Mine might look a little bit different than yours, depending on which uh, Cricut machine you have. And then once this pops up, I can show you 
These are my favorite materials. I use this stencil vinyl one all the time when I'm cutting out anything with Oracle 651. If I'm doing the heat transfer vinyl, I use this one, the non-Cricut. I don't buy the Cricut brand anymore. I just go for the less expensive ones on Amazon. I'll leave all my materials below down in the description box if you're interested in anything. Um, I did pick up my tiles from, I think it was Lowe's a while ago, and I think it came out to like 19 cents uh, a tile, but I'm sure you can get it on Amazon or anywhere else, but that's just where I choose to go. I just need to put my vinyl on my mat, and then I'm going to load it up, and then I will cut it out, and then I'll show you the next part of weeding. So after I take my vinyl off, I like to cut it up so I get the individual pieces on here. But I also wanted to show you this night, this light up that I have. I absolutely love it, especially when I'm doing the dark colors. It's so much easier to see the light behind it. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut my individual pieces here, or my files, I should say. Like I said, I like to give it a little bit of room in between each one and I can cut it with my scissors. But because it's black, it's a little bit harder to see. But then the last part you wanna do for this is just to weed it out. So I'm gonna cut my last one here. And then also, uh, besides this light up, I use these, and I don't know if you can see it really well, I use these uh, picking tools that I buy from Harbor Freight. I absolutely love them. I don't buy the Cricut brand anymore. So if these go dull, I don't worry about it. I just go and grab another pair. They're like $3 for a set of six, I think. Uh, they are amazing. So this light really helps a lot when you're weeding stuff that's smaller. You can see it a lot easier. I don't think it's showing up too well in here, but it's so much easier to do. You can really see the background really well. But this light is so much easier, such a lifesaver for me. I wish I would have known about it earlier. It just saves so much time where you can see where all the letters, pieces are that you have to take off. I just weed it off and I just put it on my finger like that. Just makes it easier. And then throw it all out at once. But it's that simple. So here's the first one. And it just says, love is the key that opens the heart. So I think this is amazing. So I'm just going to weed out the rest of them really quick, and then I'll show you how I apply them to the tiles. For the next part, you need a few things. I just have some rubbing alcohol. I have some paper towel. Of course, my files. I have my tiles that I said I purchased. I think I, at Lowe's or Home Depot, there was like 19 cents a piece or so. And then I just have my scissors and my squeegee. I call it squeegee, I'm not really sure what you call it. And then last, I have some transfer tape. I purchased this off of Amazon. I can leave the link below. I love this stuff. Again, I don't buy the Cricut brand. I used to buy the dollar store brand, but it just was not sticking well enough. I absolutely love this stuff. It's amazing. It really wasn't too expensive either. So first thing you wanna do is take your paper towel, put some alcohol on it, and you just want to clean your tiles really well. Get all the finger marks, the dust, anything that's on there. So you just want to clean it really well. Let it sit to dry and then just work on the next ones that you want to do. Just clean it. Try not to put your fingers on it after you're done with it. And then just keep going to the next ones. This would be a fun project if you've like have kids at home right now. They can help you with this. These glass tiles are harder to break than I thought, so it'd be a fun project for you to work with your kids with. So while those are drying, I'm just gonna take one of my files and line it up with my transfer tape to figure out which side it goes. I'm actually gonna line two up right away. We can get two on here. See, I'll put two on here really quick. The only thing with this transfer tape is it does not have lines on it, so we kind of have to guess where the middle is. That's the only downfall, but I absolutely love this stuff. So I'm just going to cut it really quick, put that to the side, and then now I'm going to use my squeegee again. I don't know what you call this, but I call it a squeegee. And I'm just going to go over it and rub 
my file down into my transfer tape. Cut one more time in the middle here, so I have two separate ones. And then peel this off so it's, everything sticks on your transfer tape. And then by the time you do that, your tile should be dry. So, so the next part you want to do is put your vinyl onto your tile. This take you take your time with this part, try to get it on as neat as possible as you can because once you put it on, you will not get it off. So once you have it on, push it nice and flat and then use your squeegee and just push really hard, get all the bubbles out. I like to use my fingers and make sure everything stays on it really well. There. So it's on really nice. Just make sure you use your fingers and push it on really tight. And then just take a piece and pull gently off and everything should stick behind. And it's really important that you clean your tile before so you don't have any marks or anything on the back of it. Uh, I will be sealing this, so I'm gonna clean it one more time after everything's done with another rub of alcohol. So when I seal it, you don't see little finger marks and all that, so. But I think that turned out really awesome. I love how it looks. Um, for the back, I had ordered some cork board for the back of this. So I'm gonna show you how to put that on once I'm finished with all of these. But I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest. I'm out in my garage. I wanted to show you these. I did finish these already. These were from a different one that I did. Um, you can't really see it, but it is ha does have a matte finish to it, but these are not coming off. Uh, so if you wanna use these for coasters or if you just wanna have, sometimes people have them just for looks. I'm going to be using mine for actual coasters. So this will not come off. Uh, I sprayed this with Mod Podge, it's a clear sealer, so I shook it really well. You can use spray or you can use um, the kind you need to use with the brush, but I just chose to do this. But this is how they turn out. It was a matte finish, so it's not shiny, but this will stick to it. So this is the next step. So I just have them laid out over here, the ones that I just did. And I'm just gonna give them a light coat. And then after it dries, I'm just gonna do another coat. But I shook this really well. And again, make sure you do this in a well ventilated area. And I'm just gonna lightly go over them, let it dry, and then I'll do another coat or two. Uh, for this stuff, I know they have um, a shiny one, but I wanted to use the matte one. So that's how these ones turned out. Um, but there's, it, like I said, it's not coming off, it's sticking on there, no water's gonna uh, slip through this or anything. So the next thing I need to do, let them dry, and then I will show you how to put on the cork backing. Okay, so here are my finished tiles so far. Um, I put the Mod Podge on it, and it's gonna keep it, and it's gonna seal it from these pieces coming off and any water getting into it. But I love how these turned out. And the last part to do is put these cork board pieces on them. Um, I actually got these off of Amazon, I think they were a hundred of them for 17 or 18 dollars so they come out to like seven or eight cents a piece which really isn't that bad but this is so much easier than trying to use glue or hot glue or anything unless they're sticky backing so you just peel off the back and it's really sticky and then you just take your tile and then just put it on where you want it push it down and it's on so I did these ones already. I have one more. So this one still has to have it. So again, just the last part is this. I'll leave the link below if you're interested in this. I did purchase some cork board from uh, the dollar store, but by the time you have to put the tape on it or put the glue on it and cut it out, it's not worth my time. So you can see the tile doesn't look very nice. So you're just putting this on the back to prevent scratching and also to make it look a little nicer. So we just put it on push it down and it's all finished. You can put it on here, it won't scratch anything. You can put them on next to each other or on top of each other and it won't break or scratch or anything. So I will show you this, how I'm gonna wrap it up and then the total finished product with all of them that I created. So here's how they turned out. This is how I um, am gonna package them. I just took a little bit of twine and put it around it really nicely. Just double knotted it on the back. And then here are the ones that I just finished has the cork on the back so again you can stack them you can move them it's not going to scratch anything and then here are some other ones I did 
um, previously. I think they turn out really awesome as well. They have the vacuum on them too. So I hope you had fun with this. I hope you make your own. The possibilities are endless with these. You can make like any holiday ones. I know Christmas is coming up pretty soon, so I'll maybe do another tutorial on Christmas ones. But I think these turned out really great. What do you think? Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment below if you have any questions.